What's up guys, welcome to Poor Man Mods. Today we're gonna to be doing a short tool review for you. Now I have done a couple of tool reviews before on this channel. I don't do them very often, but I found something on Amazon that I thought was really cool and I thought I'd share it with you guys. This video is not sponsored at all. It's just something that I think is really awesome and I wish I found a whole bunch of years ago. But uh, what I found is a ratcheting flare wrench. Now I know a lot of you have flare wrenches for doing brake lines. I say a lot of my videos whenever I do break stuff, never use a regular wrench, use a flare wrench. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have ratcheting wrenches, but this is a flare wrench that ratchets. This thing is so freaking cool. Now, unfortunately in this video, I'm not gonna fully demonstrate it because I don't wanna crack any of my brake lines loose, but I will show you how it works. And I think this may be made in the same factory, maybe, as gear wrench, and I'll show you why. So let's get a closer look at this thing and uh, see what it's all about. Okay, so right here I have three different ratcheting wrenches. I have the new flare ratcheting wrench that I just bought. Uh, it doesn't really have a brand name, it just says chrome vandium on it like all non-branded wrenches do. I have the gear wrench and then I have a Pittsburgh. Now if you look at the wrench portion of these two wrenches, the gear wrench and the flare wrench look extremely similar. The heads are the same, you know, the neck right here is the same. The font is even similar font. Now the gear wrench logo is smaller, but just the way the engraving to me looks, it looks very similar. And they even both have the rotational arrow, which I really, really like. The Pittsburgh does not. And yeah, I mean, they just, they look so similar to where maybe these two are made in the same factory side by side. Clearly it's not the same as Pittsburgh. Uh, the head is way smaller. Everything is smaller on the Pittsburgh. Um, the head is thicker than the gear wrench. The, the Pittsburgh is obviously a lesser quality wrench, but it does look very similar to the gear wrench. Like that head is pretty much identical. Now obviously other than the ratcheting head itself, the one difference I see here, the screws are a little bit different. The hex head on this one is a lot larger than that one, but still the wrench itself looks very, very similar. Now the gears sound a whole lot different on this one. It does sound a little cheaper, but it, it's a completely different head. There might be more teeth. I didn't get the exact count, but I think there might be more teeth in this flare wrench. Definitely, it might have you know 50% or twice the amount of teeth. Still, I'm very excited about using this. Uh, let's take it to the car and I'll show you, you know, how it's gonna work. All right, so here is your standard 10 millimeter flare wrench. It goes around the line and it goes all the way around the fitting so it doesn't strip it. You know, your typical flare wrench, no surprises here. Pretty much everyone should have these if you're doing brake work. And this is the ratcheting one, same exact concept. Goes around the flare line and as you can see, it'll just ratchet all the way around. And you know, some of these fittings can be a real pain and it can take you a long time to get these off with just the regular flare wrench. You know, if you're a flat rate technician, this might be a big deal to you. If you're a weekend warrior, it's probably not a big deal. The only downside of this, which can get rather annoying, is when you go to take it off, you have to line up the slot perfectly to get it out. Not that big of a deal, but it's definitely gonna save you a whole lot of time. If you're doing brake lines on the car, you know, if you're gonna do braided brake lines on all four corners, this is definitely gonna save you a whole lot of time. Just slide around the line and get on there. I am super excited about this. But this is the only downside. It takes a little bit of time to get it off, but it's still gonna save you more time than using this guy. So I highly recommend it. I'm really, really excited to have this, but unfortunately, I don't know if I have any jobs that I need it for. I just saw it and bought it because I wanted it. All right, guys, there you go, pretty quick and easy. Um, fortunately, I didn't get to really use it because I don't want to crack any of my brake lines loose. I don't need to at the moment, um, but I'm super excited to have this. Like I said, I don't need this at the moment. I don't have any plans of doing brake lines or anything in the near future, but if I would have had this five years ago, this would have saved me so much time. I've done so many brake lines over the years. Um, I will have a link to this in the description down below if you want to pick one up for yourself. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something. And uh, add this to your toolbox, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.